I'm pretty sure most of you have an 80 plus gold certified power supply in your PC. Years ago, I too owned a bronze certified unit, and so did you probably. Nowadays, we wouldn't even consider this up to date, but why are there still power supplies out there that offer bronze efficiency? Should you still pick up such a unit in 2022? That's where today's Enermax Marble Brun RGB, the 850 watt version, comes in handy. Because it happens to be a semi-modular unit with 80 plus bronze certification, comes with quality Japanese capacitors and, of course, RGB lighting. All that leads to a price of about 110 US dollars for the 850 watt version right now. So is it really worth it to save a little bit of money on the efficiency rating or is that a horrible mistake in the end? Are there any concerns? That's what we'll try to find out today. As far as what comes included, hardly anything spectacular by any means. It's just the power supply itself, the modular cables along with the power cord, four screws, and last but not least, a manual and sticker. The latter probably meant to go on the bare side of the PSU. Right off the bat, I'd like to make it clear that today's Marble Brun is part of Enermax's mainstream lineup of PSUs. Given that this is an 850 watt unit, it's fairly compact at a length of just 140 millimeters. I also feel the need to complement the nice coating, it makes everything appear much more premium-like. Unfortunately, we are talking of a semi-modular power supply, meaning that the most common required cables are permanently attached to the internal PCB, therefore cannot be unplugged. I don't mind it, but it really doesn't go with the times. Behind the fan grill, there's a constantly spinning 120mm large ARGB lit fan equipped with a twister bearing, of which Enermax claims it only gets up to 14 decibels at a power supply load of 40%. And that I definitely can confirm. The fan is operating quietly, but can also go all the way up to 28 decibels at max PSU load, according to the manufacturer. The lighting I find quite nice, although only the 850 watt version within the lineup is equipped with such. Next to the power input, there's a button allowing us to switch between 14 different RGB effects. By holding that button down, you're switching into the synchronization mode with your motherboard because the Marble Brun RGB does in fact sport a standard 3-pin ARGB connector. Whether you're into power supplies that light up in a good way, that's another cup of tea. But it's a fact that most PC cases these days don't really allow us to showcase our power supply, except for a few exceptions out there, of course. So I don't really think it makes a whole lot of sense to implement lighting. I'd much rather see a street price below the $100 mark for 850 watts instead. Now let's get down to the specs. This is a single rail unit, meaning that we are only getting a single 12 volt rail on here, outputting 70 amps. Close to all relevant protection measures are on board here, the exception being OCP, over current protection, that's missing here. Isn't that critical and immediately makes the PSU fail the review? No, not at all. You need to keep in mind that there are quite a few single rail power supplies out there that don't come equipped with OCP, and that's because OPP, the over power protection, takes care of it instead when there's just a single 12 volt rail to deal with. So no need to worry or panic. As far as power connectors are concerned, there's plenty of them. So we are getting the expected two 8-pin CPU power connectors, 4 times PCIe 8-pin, 8 times SATA, 4 times Molex, and a single FDD. None of the cables are nylon braided, nor is there any kind of sleeving going on. Instead, we're just looking at plain flat ribbon cables, and honestly, I've always liked these. A few of these cables aren't necessarily super long though, but they can still be considered as long enough, I suppose. Now let's go ahead and talk efficiency real quick. In a best case scenario, the manufacturer claims a maximum efficiency of 91%, and that's at 50% PSU load. On average, we'd probably be looking at an efficiency of 88%. 
in theory, according to the official ideal values, when it comes to these efficiency ratings, the marble brand would slide in somewhere in between 80 plus bronze and silver. By looking at my spreadsheet, it's immediately obvious that at 50% load, there's 4% of efficiency lying between bronze and the nowadays very common gold certification. Especially when dealing with high power draws, those 4% will have an impact on your power bill depending on how much you care about it. So for sure, a bronze rating is nothing to be proud of anymore in 2022. However, we are not talking of unusable when inspecting the measured power draws later on. Before we get to that, let's first take a look at what's under the hood of this PSU. At this point, I'd like to warn you that opening up power supplies and touching any of their internal parts can cost you your life, be warned. Furthermore, I want to make it very clear that I am in no way neither a professional when it comes to power supplies nor electrical equipment in general. I just happen to be acquainted with the basics, thus simply cannot get into details. First of all, I have to compliment the nice, clean platform used here, which according to my knowledge should be by the OEM CWT. In fact, we are dealing with a full bridge topology along with LLC converters as well as synchronous rectification. On the secondary side, there's obviously DC to DC conversion going on. Also on the primary side, we are being greeted by two of these 400 volt, 330 microfarad electrolytic capacitors by the Japanese brand Toshin Kogyo rated at a max temperature of 105 degrees Celsius. Very nice. What I've then discovered on the secondary side, I can't fully identify, but I strongly assume these are Asia X caps. And if I'm not totally mistaken here, these are ones coming from China. I'd really appreciate someone confirming my suspicions, and if I turn out to be correct, Enermax partially lied to us. Sadly, I have absolutely no idea what brand these solid caps are from. I'm clueless. Needless to say, I do not own any professional testing equipment for power supplies, so I'll have to stick to the very basic testing, whether I like it or not. Starting with the measured voltages at lower as well as medium loads. Not surprising, everything appears fine here, which is why we are heading straight for the measured power consumption so we can compare efficiency. And even here it becomes obvious that this undoubtedly is an 80 plus bronze unit because with the same identical system running, the marble bronze along with other bronze PSUs draws roughly 20 watts more power from the wall as opposed to common 80 plus gold models. So why would someone grab bronze in 2022? In a lot of cases, it's all about the price. However, when we go ahead and compare current pricing of today's Marble Brun RGB with other 850 watt units, at least over here in Europe, the Marble Brun barely is much cheaper than even more efficient models out there, even including some of Enermax's own units. For just a small premium, there are models also outputting 850 watts that sport significantly higher efficiency that is 80 plus gold. And then we additionally don't have to deal with semi-modularity, but instead get a nice, fully modular design. This single aspect the Marble Brun by Enermax seems to score at seems to be its ARGB lighting, which as far as PSUs are concerned, isn't worth a whole lot in my opinion. So is this a bad power supply? No, nothing is stopping you from picking it up, but honestly, there are models out there priced more attractively for what they are capable of offering, and that applies to both the competition as well as Enermax themselves. I basically have only made good experiences with Enermax units, I use a couple in my own systems. I don't fully agree and understand what today's Marble Brun RGB is supposed to be. I have concerns and I don't think I'd go as far and say I'd recommend it. You are better off spending a few dollars more and get a great power supply that scores in all the aspects. It doesn't matter if it's Enermax or any other renowned brand. And we've now come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and until the next video guys.